let's start with uh, your model uh, what you sent me sent me the hoodie right this is one. yeah so okay so uh, basically what i have done i have i when i open the file i, have, yeah. I can see uh, you can see this is uh, all messed with uh, locators okay and also the the joints the skeletons are too big yeah. so uh, just for information we don't need nothing so we, i just hide the joints from here show okay so there is no joints it's still there but i i cannot see it okay so the locators also it's the locators okay so i have only the model so when i uh, check the model i can see it's it's skinned weight painted it's yeah. painted with the skeleton so if i do any change in polygon if i do any change in polygon the weight paint will be destroyed okay uh, but if i check in uv when i press 3 you can see it's separated model okay it's not the same model yeah uh, a separate mesh i can say everyone is separate mesh it has completely detached everyone others so first of all if you want to merge any uv you have to merge the polygon first if any polygon are detached then it's impossible to merge the uv okay so i have to do so what i can do i can do i if i press f i can see the model here i i want to duplicate it control d okay uh do you familiar with this kind of uh, work activity in maya uh i normally use 3ds max or blender so okay so um this is the skin the model the old one so i am yeah. hiding this by h and this is a, this is a new one okay so this is not binded yet so what I can do, I, I will unlock all this. Okay. So there is an option in Mesh Component Display and Attribute Editor, the display border. Okay. So I can see what is the border actually. This one is a border, this one is border. There is a border. There is a border. That's mean there here is the data thing actually yeah so what i going to do i do all vertex i can select all vertex and then edit mesh and it should be merge so when i do merge i can see it's 0 0.1 that's mean if anything in distance 0 0.1 it will be merged together but i don't want that i don't only zero that means only if both vertex are in same position they will be merged otherwise not okay so the model is same but there is no border that's mean there is no data okay so that's it. i can delete the history history and please then i can do uh uv so it's have the uv so this is the seams, UV seams. There is a UV cart option, tools. If I select this and by pressing control, I can merge it like this. Okay. Ah, fuck, so that's easy. I, I can, I can, I can merge this one also. Okay, so, um, okay, not to spend it. Okay. Uh, it's always uh, influence uh, the others thing also so it's better yeah. to uh, get them in separate place so this is so this both are here actually and i can see there is a another uh, hole in uv but the hole is not in uh, of polygon actually it's just in uv so it's but this case, this is actually detached. Still, yeah. he is detached after merging also. So if I can see, where is that detached? This is 
here actually okay here you can see both are tetas yeah okay so uh, now i'm going to uh, do another action it's merge to center in edit mesh that's when both vertex will be merged in the center position okay now i can uh, do the ev merging here it's merged and here is also And now about this cut, uh, you asked me to move the cut um, from top side to bottom side or hidden side, right? Yeah. Okay. So for that, I have to do one uncut from the perspective view like this. And here is like this. And now I can apply the same thing again here. And now I have to manually cut the UV from the bottom side. Uh, in that case, if any model has a quad polygon, it should be better. But in that case, uh, we can't uh, select any loop. So we have to just uh, apply this uh, manually like this. Always double click, single click, most of the time doesn't work. Double click is better for doing it fast. This one complete and another one. We can uh, choose the steady stroke from the city. So we can, it's like ZBrush uh, lazy mouse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you use ZBrush? Um, not much, but I have experience in it. Yeah. The lazy, it's like a lazy mouse. So. But triangle always uh, do travel in uh, polygon work. Yeah. But this is a simulated growth from Marvelous Design, I think, right? Uh, could you repeat that? Okay, it's complete. So now we can... It's better to do unfold. Uh, before unfold, you have to save the scene because uh, sometimes uh, after uh, unfolding, it's crashed. Maya, okay. So the... Is... So if I do unfold, okay, if uh, your unfold not working fine, okay, if your unfold not working fine, then you can uh, find, uh, solve, uh, change the setting, like setting and preference, plugin manager, and here is a setting, uh, here is a plugin called unfold. Yeah. Make sure the unfold plugin is checked both are checked load in and auto load okay so it's not the similar size anymore we can't make it uh, similar size by uh, guessing okay so we have to do one thing we have to get back the old one so when we select both we can see how long it should be or how bigger it should be It's not uh, will be so accurate. Just uh, uh, ninety five or ninety percent accurate is okay. Because you will never get perfect actually. Yeah. Make sure that there is no overlapping. So now uh, our review is ready. 
So what I have to do now, I have to uh, get back the weight pin to the new mesh. Okay. If there is no weight pin, then no pin. But if it's, it's rigged, then you have to bring the weight pin. So how can I do this? Uh, oh, one thing more, you have to check uh, the UV uh, doesn't have any uh, extra set. So if there is extra set, I'll delete it. And the Maya yeah. default name is good, map one. Okay. So uh, let's select all the joints together. So there is an option, select option, select, you can choose all by type joints. So it's selected all the joint, auto, okay. Then we can select the new mesh and going to the in section and the skin, bind the skin. But before uh, pressing bind the skin, clicking bind the skin, you have to make sure the one thing, if you use Maya 2023 or 2024. Uh, 23. If you use Maya 2023 or Maya 2024, if you bind it by default, it's owned work in other software or Maya older version. Yeah. So always you have to make sure that you have one setting turned off. The setting is in animation section, it's component tag. So it should be turned off. Otherwise it won't work in Maya older version or any other software. Yeah. Okay. The skin, but the rig will be destroyed basically. So it's unchecked and set then uh, so, okay, now uh, we can bind actually, okay, bind. So it's bind, but there is no proper weight pin. It's, it's a new one, so it's on, it's on to work well. So we have to bring the old skin paint, that new one, uh, like. Okay, so, okay. so just select the old one, old one, shift select the new one and skin copy skin of it it's done so now we can i can delete the old one and you are getting completely a new ev with everything untouched all right beautiful thank you <laughs> welcome